Good morning, folks. What started yesterday as a small snap of a plasma filament turned into a chain reaction of stellar eruptions that would end up releasing a fairly large amount of material into space as the rope rips and snaps. Let's come right to Enlil, because NASA's chart shows the CME missing Earth, while NOAA's shows a tiny CME impact due to come and hit Earth in a couple of days. But it wouldn't be too much concern. As we look on SOHO, we see the majority of the blast does miss Earth, heading south and ahead of our position. But you do see some material exiting left and south and a bit north, so a faint edge of this shockwave is likely to give us a glancing blow. I'll side with NOAA this morning. Spaceweathernews.com, you can see that solar flaring remained low. Apart from the filament snaps producing some low-level sea flares, we didn't have much going on. And when we look at the sunspots, we see they are still tiny and magnetically separated, more like a middle school dance than a party. Number one space weather story, however, is that I see the coronal hole stream beginning to impact there in the solar wind. It is way too early for geomagnetic effects, but that jolt to the electron flux is a sure sign and will be on magnetic storm watch later today. Next coronal hole is way up north, not transequatorial, and it's tough to know right now how much that dark patch will be geoeffective. Right now, let's take our eyes to an odd double high pressure earth spot in the southwest Indian Ocean. Almost never see them like this, and what do you know, top quake of the day sat right beneath them. This looks a lot like Jupiter, and it's supposed to. Scientists have found a Jupiter-sized planet in a Jupiter-sized orbit around a Sun-sized star. Star water fans who like the solar system pattern hypothesis will love reading this article. Top story down on the ground comes from the Weather Channel. The August to October temperature predictions for the United States are up. There you go. What are we featuring for the observers at this time? In honor of Michael Steinbacher, the featured public content are still his videos on our valuable info playlist, which is linked for you right below this video. His interviews are near the bottom. Website members, the featured premium content today is Deeper Look Episode 63. It was posted last night on the satellite charging hazard charts. The typhoon still active and heading west in the West Pacific there. Meanwhile, the biggest story is to the east. Dolores remnants and a new storm formation event have the U.S. Southwest under major flood alerts, already shattering one day and monthly rainfall totals, and it's not going to stop just yet. We'll get our other alert zones with the precipitable water overlay on at our top viewer locations, then we've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.